winter fishing is a tear to the soul. The leaves start to fall off your trees and it's all lovely and looks beautiful. And then the storms start to come. It gets a bit rough. The temperature starts to drop, the days start to shorten. And um, before you know it, your fishing spirals out of control and you're just not catching anything. Don't matter where you go, what you do, you can't catch nothing. Cast after cast and you go to different places, still waters like this, crystal clear, the fish don't want to know, they got no chance. I've had a nightmare trying to fish this year, you go down the river, look at that, get desperate. Hello Mr Goose, can you tell me where the pike are? But sometimes every now and then you get a bite, keeps you motivated and um, yeah they do happen, there's one. <laughs> And you do catch some nice ones. Well, there's two lovely chub. But this is what I do when I'm having midwinter blues. I don't know about you guys, but occasionally when I'm fishing, I sometimes get a bit hacked off with it. <laughs> I fish a lot, and uh, I have moments, generally midwinter, midwinter blues, where I can't catch anything, and I get to the point I can't be bothered to go. And uh, it's not fun. I went down the river last night again, four hours total blank not even a bite air temperatures 15 degrees should have caught loads couldn't catch a thing so what I generally do is uh, put some maggots on the hook and try and catch get some bites so yeah this started this video I was saying about not catching and it gets you down a bit and so this is what I do just come out maggot fishing just getting bites Luckily, it's coincided with the river being just about spot on. So uh, I could have got bites whatever I was fishing. I'm starting to think about them chub and barbel again. <laughs> I've had chub out of this swim before. Not many, but I have had chub out of here before. I might go a bit chubbing later. But yeah, just getting bites, seeing a float go under. Just, yeah, fishing, catching. Not just fishing, catching. Catching makes a big difference to your confidence. Surprising how far down you can trot this swim sometimes. Can't quite get to the bridge. Not with this flow anyway. Shallows up a bit down there. And to be fair, you don't catch that many down there. They're mostly down here. It's worth having a go down there every now and then just in case there's a chub hanging back. But it doesn't look like there is. Oh, rig was in a tangle, that don't help. Right, let's start that again. That was a quick bite. <laughs> that shot under. A little bit of better rope, just about a swing a ball. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Shouldn't have swung that. At least my rig didn't go in the trees. I was half expecting a pike to come up and grab that as he was flashing about on the top. All right, note to self don't swing four ounce roach. down by where that stone is. The wind's just... There it goes. This one's swingable. Oh, oh keep still. Try a red one. That's a good point, man. Don't think that's free. There it is now. Yep, good to go.
feels like spring like today you know it's a uh, new year started off with a nice morning i've come out in just my shirt sleeves i thought i might have regretted it but it feels fine i should have had that one right i'm just going to ease it through this time holding it back just following it with the rod sometimes these bites are a bit quick and I've been missing a few there got me oh, got me a bite don't think sometimes I'm striking hard enough on these things. I worry sometimes on a two foot deep swim, the stick float, I don't know if I make a clink <coughs> when you strike through it. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'm not setting the hook hard enough. Don't know. I've changed my hook because I thought it was a blunt hook. There's a little bite. That was going, oh, bump that as well. <sighs> now, yeah, fatal thing with a maggot. Just over the hook ever so slightly. <sighs> I don't like bumping fish, don't like losing fish, don't like missing bites. Let's chuck a few further. There's a bite right at the, oh no, that's the bottom. See, look, I'm dragging the bottom. I don't know what this is. Oh. That my hook link gone. Yep, snap my hook link. That's annoying. Right, I've got one of these little Car Carisso things. I did have one when I was doing the pub day out on the itching uh, video that kept the rubber. I don't know what happened. It just kept coming loose. But this one's all right. All right, what have we got? Uh, I think I'll try one of these. I oh, know I was on these ones. There she comes. go back in action just check that that's oh, probably so that's just my little drop of that clue so and then there's three number eights and uh four or five number fours and that's it right i'll drop that in there just hold the float a little bit wait for the maggots to catch it up then set it go amazing how sometimes you can have a chub in a swim and uh, they'll only have the bait when um, it's going through with a bunch of other bait if your maggot's sitting on its own fish don't have it there's a bite oh that oh this is a head shaking roach this is a net one Definitely. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Not massive, but definitely going to net it after the last one. Ooh. Something if you buy a 15 foot rod, sometimes it's a bit of a pain because they uh, the fish come up a bit further out. That's a nice roach. Where to put my disgorger? Oh shit, I think I've dropped my disgorger. Right. Yeah, lovely little roach.
That's, that's a better fish. Yeah, whether as a member of Edenbridge you can carp fish it or not, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm very much a kind of jack of all trades. I started my fishing on the Medway. When I was oh, right. So I started off just going course fishing. It's only this year and last year I started carp fishing again. But Ooh, nice that is a nice perch. Do you know what? I thought it might have been a perch because I bumped two fish like this exactly so, and I was thinking whether it was a perch with a hard mouth and a little hook. Yeah, that's a nice perch, that is. Yeah, it's a couple of pound, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thank you. That's a couple of pound at least. Yeah. Oh, steady, steady. Go. Got a big gob. Might be the same one. He's got. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might weigh it actually, I've got my scales. Hold on. Oh shit, that was close. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. Alright, let's just put him down there. Get the scales. Alright mate. Pounds and ounces. Yeah, same fish I had the other day, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got a fish with him, he's got that same split fish in about five back in the front. Yeah, he's, he's a nice fish. Ow. Split back five in the front, same fish I had. Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, one, two. Yeah, maybe a few more back, actually. Let's see what he weighs today. Oh, what's he weigh? 114. It's all right. I don't know, scales. I have calibrated those scales, but they might not be uh, might not be right this time. He does look a bit bigger than that, but yeah, they are nice, aren't they? He does look a little bit bigger than that, doesn't he? Oh well, never mind. I'll just get me. Uh, uh. Cheers, mate. Right, here she is. I did do a recording of this with a new tooth, Bluetooth uh, microphone, but totally cocked it up, put it on mute instead. Anyway, well chuffed with it. I, um, yeah, cheered me up after a run of blanks. So um, get down there, chuck some maggots out, and just get some bites. Just <laughs> install your confidence. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll uh, pop this fish back. And yeah, if you like that, just click the subscribe button down the bottom right hand corner down there and then uh, yeah there'll be another video similar sort of stuff up there thanks for watching bye